extra extra read all about it that's RC Hanger doing the extra feeling oh yes <laughs> what is going on I've done another video after the Friday feeling and it is extra I was trying to think of a name for all these extra videos that I get time to do and I think we should call it the extra feeling Je damn. I've gone all sexy. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, what we need to do, we need to tell you a bit about a BEC. Oh yes, yes, yes. We're going to just quickly uh, learn how to change the voltage to program it and what its uses are and what we're going to use it for. So, let's do something. Up close and personal to the BEC. Yes, you are. So, here we go. So, what is a BEC, you say? Well, the actual name for BEC is a battery eliminator circuit, I believe. And it does the same thing as an ESC, but it doesn't run your motors. You can run a BEC and an ESC at the same time. Um, uh, but you obviously only use one power leg, but I'll show you a little drawing. It's a little drawing. So, there you go. There you see a BEC and... ESC, get them rather a mouthful, um, <laughs> running together. Why would you run them together? Well, because this can run uh, the electronics. Now, this uh, I'm going to be using for uh, the Tiger Moth. Now, you're turning around and say, hang about. That's a gas, that's nitro. Exactly. But I've still got servos, so I need a power supply to run servos. Now, a lot of people use like the four pack of double A's that molt up to six volts um, and then uh, 1.5 each yes yeah, so that's six volts uh, that run your servos now i don't think i could trust that i've got like a, a full fat battery that we'll show you in a little while but i bought by mistake and they're quite flat um so considering uh, this this obviously can take um up to 25 volts input a uh, 6s it just makes sense you know basically we're only pulling like um six volts or so um so it just you know if you use a battery that's got a lot more power then you're going to have a power for a long time so if you've got a, a full tank of gas and you're having a lovely scale flight around then you haven't got to worry about your electronics so yes so let's uh let's push this back down again so hopefully it will get in focus yes it was now what have i got here if i can get this in focus this is a castle link v3 now why do i need this you say when i've got my bec well, this is to program, and we will be programming in this video as well. Um, if I put that down slowly, the camera might focus. Yes, it is. Look at that. Wow. Exciting. Um, well, anyway, off the track there. Um, yes, we will be programming, showing you how to program the Castle BEC. Now, why do we want to program? Well, this has various voltages on the outputs. Um, it goes uh, from 4.8 to 9 volts. And you can program the output, which is brilliant. Now, if you look at the servos, um, if I can get this in focus nicely, um, zoom your eyes, clean your eyes, there you go. As you can see, um, this runs at 4.8 or 6 volts. Now, because the uh, this runs at 4.9 volt minimum, I want to boost it to 6. Why do I want to boost it to 6? Well, if you look at this, um, basically the output torque at 4.8 volts is 3 kilograms or 42 ounces. Um, and at 6 volt, it's 3.5 kilograms, 49 ounces. So it's a lot stronger. So, you know, it's, it's going to be less resistant to the acrobatics. Now, I'm not going to be doing much acrobatics uh, with the Tiger Moth. But the MiG-29, we would run that at 6 volts uh, to give a bit more torque in, in the uh, metal gears and to make your flight uh, so you don't crash basically so you're not putting too much pressure on the uh, on the um, on the servos uh, on the gearing when you're flying about acrobatically that's the plan anyway so we're going to go into how we're going to program this so first of all um, we should go into the programming but I might as well get this ready to um, to receive the battery now as you saw in the picture of the uh, of the movie um, I've got my little jig, if I can get it in sort of some random focus. Here we go. Now, you can get this jig from various uh, various um, stores. Uh, this happens to be, I can't remember where I got it from now. <laughs> but you can hold a lot of things, you know, you can hold all the, uh, um, the, the motor, 
motor um, connections, which I've just forgotten the name of. Um, it gives all the millimeters. You see millimeters either side. And then as I most of my batteries are XT60, I use that. You have got an XT90, uh, uh, XT, another XT60, XT90, XT90, and a Mini T and a T. So yeah, we're going to be using that because then it's it's just easier to solder. So if I stop it right there, because you don't need to see me soldering, um, I'm sure that uh, you know all know how to solder. And if you don't, leave me a comment and we'll do a soldering of how I solder. It may not be the perfect way, but it's how I do it anyway. So let me get this soldered up, um, and then we can move into um, uh, and move into actually programming it. So basically, a BEC is just a uh, it's just a switching volt voltage regulator really um, it uh, it turns on uh, very turns on and off very rapidly and feeds you the voltage that you want it's um, it's quite simple but amazing it's uh, I like it but it's going in the tiger off to supply me power so um, let me get soldering and I'll be right back alrighty welcome back so my battery actually had an EC3 connector um, <laughs> Of all things, now these ones I actually brought wrong. I mean, look how skinny they are. They're the Turnergy uh, three cell eleven point one volts. Um, but I reckon that will do for the my for my Tiger one. There's a place for it, so I changed the end to an XT60, and I put an XT60 onto the other end of the BEC. So let's just plug this in at the moment and see what voltage we're getting in. So we get the green light that says we're good to go. Um, let's uh, put in this little pin so I can actually read, get the voltage off the pins. Uh, if I bring in my multimeter, might need to stack that. There we go. There we go. You should be able to see that. And if I go across the pins, I'm hoping to see probably four to five volts. There you go. About about five volts. Okay, so that's so that's the standard. That's how it comes out the uh, the box. So what we'll do now is I will hook up the computer now. The way you hook up the computer is you download the software, which I shall show you in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll take out that little pins that we'll save for a rainy day. Um, uh, basically, in uh, you need to connect your little this is the this is the little uh, castle programmer that you get I can twist it over if that's the right way around castle link v3 and it says on here which way to connect it so you've got the minus the plus and the control and you'll get a little red light because we've got a battery light now we don't need the battery connected you can disconnect the battery at this point we don't need that um, and then you've got this USB-C um, that plugs into that so we're just kind of like that and then we've got the USB that um, you use when you um, download the information or should I say the software from uh, from uh, the castle website castle creations website um, it's quite simple it says on the packaging actually if I can get this packaging you want get it into focus there you go it says uh, www.castlecreations.com forward slash downloads Alrighty, so here we go from that little bit of paper to the actual website um, obviously you do need internet to go to the website I know it's a uh, silly thing to say do we but <laughs> we do um, so first of all we're going to download now if you hover over this big button that says download castle link software you get a little hand and you click it left click and you'll start to download the small exe now I have done this I did download this exe um, I'd say a few about a month no three four weeks ago so, but I haven't had a, a play around, but sorry, I lied. I'm lying to you. I did play around with it, um, but I didn't, um, I didn't do anything. I just wanted to see what it did. So, <laughs> don't worry about it. Let's get rid of the website now we've done it. So it will come up a bit different from you. Um, it probably, I would have thought, say, do you want to repair um, rather than do you want to install? And yes, there you go. Do I want to modify, repair or remove? So let's just repair. Yours will say, do you just want to install? So it just follow the prompts that it gives you. I uh, mean, mine, it just wants to repair. Um, it's not going to do any harm. It will freshen it up. And if it is a newer version, then it will install that newer version. Finish. Finish. So now we get the link, which normally on the top of your desktop. I've got mine in my hot bar anyway. And it will bring up something like this. 
Now there's that 3.8.0, which was the, let me just uh, bring up the website again, 3.8, 3.80.00. So we have the correct version. This is all good. No, we haven't got trouble setting is why I haven't plugged in. So it does go to that minimized window, which is kind of annoying. I like it to uh, be, maybe because I'm blind, maybe, I don't know, who knows. Um, and as you can see, you've got the red lights saying it's not connected, blah, 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 blah. Now with the um, B, EC connected to the programmer and now we're just going to connect the USB-C so as soon as I connect this with USB-C the little light on the programmer uh, the programmer card goes green which it was red before if you remember and this goes small again <laughs> and on here you look at the left you've now got green lights that's good that's a good thing we want green lights and it's recognized what it is it's recognized that it's a CCBEC now the reason it does that is because you can also program the castle uh, ESCs. And why would you want to do that? Well, if you want to, when you like, you know, maybe gliders, I suppose, but when you want to cut back the throttle, you want to put the brake on so it breaks the motor, uh, stops the uh, propeller from spinning around. If you've got a helicopter, um, you want a soft start, you don't want to, like a dramatic power surge to fire into those uh, uh, blades. Uh, unlike a fixed wing, you just want it to go for gold. So it can program a lot of things, and I believe that the castle also do a Bluetooth version, uh, which you know I don't really need. Uh, you know I have, you know I probably will be going on to be using some more BECs castle, um, but I don't believe I've got any ESC. So anyway, this is good. Stop nattering on, Chris. Right, what do we want to do? First of all. Let's make sure that the firmware is the up-to-date firmware on the BEC. Now, you have to be connected to the internet for this. Uh, just press update firmware and don't disconnect. Would you like to proceed? Yes. So don't disconnect because you can end up having a guitar plug. Now, it's not a brick because it's not heavy enough to be a brick. But a guitar plug, you know, we don't want that. We want a working board so we can program. And boom, there you go. It's kind of reset itself. So let's see if uh, what version. Okay, so that was the latest version. Um, surprise doesn't say you had the latest version, but uh, yeah, 1.03. There is no other downloading and uh, adding it, so that's that's all that does. Um, basic, right, so here's this is what it's all about anyway. So at the moment, it's set on 5.1 volts. Now we saw that in the little uh, test meter. If you click the little arrow down, you get the all these uh, voltages that you can use. So you can really, you know, really go to town. It's all point ones of a volt, which is really, really great. Some really cool, uh, some really cool hardware there. Uh, it goes from 4.8 volts all the way to nine volts at the bottom. Um, so in in this in this uh, particular instance, we uh, the lowest at uh, our mighty micro servos is 4.8, which gave us uh, three kilograms, was it, of uh, torque. Uh, we want to run this puppy at six volts. It's going to give us an extra 0.5 kilogram of per centimeter of torque, uh, which is basically uh, 49 ounces instead of 42 ounces per inch, which is pretty torquey if you ask me. Now, after we've selected the 6.4, 6.0 volts, which is you know you've got to make sure this is correct, um, we'll um, update. So that is basically uploading to the BEC, saying to you next time you've got your battery in, you're going to kick out six volts. Okay. Now to, uh, on here, if you go to device commands and, um, read settings, it's basically reading the information from the BEC just to make sure that it's that six volts. But you know, I'm a bit of a stickler. I want to disconnect the BEC. So I'll take out the USB-C, wait until it goes all red, which is so you know, you disconnected it. It's a bit of like a reboot, really power cycle, plug the, um, mini usb in again uh, it's always you know worth because you know you could put some over volts down your servo and that's never a good thing six volts so there you go that is it simple as that obviously if you've got like an esc um yeah look, you can, if you whatever some of those languages are but you can change some languages but english is good enough for me um if you've got an ESC, then there'll be a lot more tabs probably to, to do stuff. Uh, maybe we'll get a Castle ESC just to play around. They do make some sexy ESCs and some powerful um, some stuff. Uh, a lot of them, I think, for RC cars. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, you should have a look at their website. I will put a link in the description. Um, Castle do some really, really cool stuff. Okay, so that's about all we need to do, really. Um, simple as. 
So let's go back to the bench. And we're back at the bench. Yes, that's what it is. But as you can see, look, there you go. You've got the little green fashion light. That's basically what it looks like when you've got, got it connected to the PC. So we'll just disconnect that and uh, take that back to the PC. Well, it's not a PC. It's my laptop. Didn't close the laptop down. Okay, now we have. So what do we do now? So we get our Uber Uber battery and we'll stick it in. Ka-ching, we get our green light on the BSC. Now, if you don't get a green light, you've got an issue. So, you know, try and connect it back again, update the firmware, etc., etc. Notice we'll get a green red light on our uh, programmer, but that's fine because we've finished with our programmer. And this will go back into some sort of safe place. Where? I don't know. You know what happens in this hangar, I'll lose everything. So let's now put in, in our little plugs. So then hopefully we'll be able to read, um, we'll read uh, what voltage we are now getting out. And I'm hoping it should be six volts. So let's, uh, let's get it the right way around. So we've got negative and positive and it would help if I had <laughs> give me a heart attack then I, I didn't I, that was I've got four pins here I broke off <laughs> it was going no volts it was like oh dear in fact I could probably just put that one in the back there and put that one there and hey presto 5.97 volts now it would be interesting to see if I should have made the BEC 6.1 volts maybe that would be something I need to, we need to look at that um, because that's basically saying 5.967. So it's not quite accurate, I don't think. So we'll leave it at that because I think, you know, that's near enough voltage because I don't want to overvolt the uh, servos. But, uh, but yeah, so that is now giving us power. But it's not only that, that if I somewhere around here, wherever I put it, because I've moved things and then... I don't, I put, where is it? Hello, where are we? There we go. So here it is, basically we've got a uh, S8R FR Sky, which we're going to be putting in the Tiger Moth. Uh, if I put this into, uh, into one of the sockets, which, just getting that right. There you go. Boom. Now obviously I haven't got my transmitter or anything around, so... And there you go, that is now powering our receiver, which will then power all our servos and from a nice little battery through a BEC. Fantastic. And yeah, there we go. Simple as that, but that is such a powerful thing. Because basically, we're kicking out from a 3 so 11.1 volts, and we're only using 6 volts or 5.97. Um, so that will last you so that you can safely take your plane in the sky, and it's not that heavy. Uh, take, safely take your plane in the sky. And not having to worry that your electronics are going to fail um, and let the nitro engine give you absolute pleasure. So there you go. A BEC bundle, bundle of joy. Bundle of joy. Not kind of the right letters, is it really? Anyway, you're just saying, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Chris, where is your Christmas tree lights coming that we had on Friday? Well, the wife told me to bring them back indoors. <laughs> ah. Don't rob Christmas tree lights out of the house when the wife's around. No, 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 no. So I'm going to get myself some. I've ordered some on that Amazon and they're coming for next Friday. So don't worry about that. The Christmas spirit is still in Dad's RC hangar. Yes, which is a couple of weeks away from that lovely day. For those that uh, who don't celebrate Christmas, then uh, celebrate with me. We will be doing a video on uh, Christmas Eve. Um, I will be making one. Yes, I will. Um, so, yeah. Um, I was hoping for a live show, but maybe we could do that the following Friday, which I'll announce next Friday, um, just before the new year. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, we could be doing a live stream with Motion RC with, on New Year's Eve, if they do it. I'm waiting for a response for them. There's a lot of pilots all around the country, or the world, should I say, just to say hello, Happy New Year, Motion RC, we love you loads. So, I hope I've explained the workings of a BSC. Uh, for you they are brilliant I mean I I'm almost want to use this in the MiG-29 um, so if I 
go overboard with uh, with the uh, with the engines and run out of battery. Um, at least I know that uh, whether it's going to fall like a brick, I don't know. I don't know if you can glide an M in MiG-29. Who knows? But it's good to have this as a backup because you know the electronics will still be going. So you can still move the elevators, ailerons, and all that sort of stuff, but not the motor because the motor will be powered off the other batteries. But then again, that's what sensors are for, and that's why I always use my LiPo sensors um, so I know how much battery I've got on each cell and make up alarms on our, on my transmitter, which another video, to tell me how much battery I have left, basically to land the arse plane on the floor before it lands in a thousand pieces. So that brings the end of a quick, but extra special, the extra feeling <laughs> video. So until next Friday, keep safe, keep flying and have fun. And thanks for stopping by on this extra feeling video. See you later now. Keep safe. Bye-bye.